Hello, everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we are briefly going to discuss about 12 different coats of arms of naval officers. The first is blazoned gules on a chevron between three crescents argent and anchor erect and cable proper. Crest a dexter hand brandishing a saber, proper, pommel, and hilt oar. This coat of arms was granted to Captain Sir Henry Martin, a naval commander who was created the first baronet of Locking in 1791. Henry married Eliza Ann Gilman and had four sons and four daughters with her, and one of his sons became an admiral in the Navy. Next is quarterly, first and fourth, as Lee of Lee and Darnhall. Second and third, or two chevron sable for McClellan. Crest, first, on a ducal coronet or a leopard's face sable. Second, a cubit arm erect proper, holding a sword also proper, hilt and pommel or, on the point a moor's head. This was the coat of arms of Theophilus Lee, born 1787 of the Royal Navy. Here we see an oil painting of him. He supposedly joined the Navy at the age of five and served at the Battle of the Nile at the age of 11. Azure on a chevron between three lions past and garden or ducally crowned of the last three grenades sable fired proper. Crest in a naval coronet or a tower with two portholes in front gold, fire issuing from the portholes and top proper on the tower, a flagstaff of the last. This was the coat of arms of the James Baronets of Park Farm Place. The baronetcy was awarded in 1778 to the naval commander, William James, a Welsh-born commander of the East India Company, who was the son of an impoverished miller and who ran away to sea at the age of only 12. And here we see an oil painting of Commodore Sir William James. Next we have Sable, a fess, wavy erminoi in chief, a naval crown or between three massels, argent and in base and anchor in pale of the third, crest between two ears of wheat or an arm erect, vested azure, cuff of the hand, proper, grasping an anchor and bent sinister oar. This coat of arms was granted to Admiral Sir William Mitchell of the British Royal Navy in 1814. Mitchell is best known for rising from humble origins to obtain the high rank of Vice Admiral. He participated in the American Revolutionary War and the Napoleonic Wars. Gules on a chevron between three keys erect, argent as many fleur de lis of the field, crest and elephant's head cooped argent collared gules charged with three fleur de lis or. This coat of arms belonged to the Parker family of Bassingbourne. The baronetcy was granted in 1783 to Sir Peter Parker, an eminent naval officer known for his service in the American Revolution. Next is vert, a naval crown or between three roses argent, barbed, and seated proper. Crest, a lion's head, erased argent, gorged with a wreath of laurel therefrom, pendant and escutcheon azure charged with a representation of the gold medal presented to that officer by the Grand Signor Signore uh, in commemoration of his services in Egypt in the year 1801. And this was the arms borne by Admiral Sir John Chambers White. Next is Sable, a sphere or between two mullets and pale argent. This was the coat of arms of Captain James Cook, born in 1728. 
He was an explorer, navigator, and captain in the Royal Navy who voyaged to Australia, New Zealand, and Hawaii, the son of James Cook of Adnam, a farm laborer. This coat of arms was granted to him by... I'm sorry, this coat of arms was granted to his widow by King James III in 1785 to be born by his descendants and placed on any monument or otherwise to his memory. Next is per pale sable and azure on a chevron between three unicorns heads cooped or three spearheads gules crest out of a ducal coronet or an arm embowed in armor proper holding a broken tilting spear azure pointed or this coat of arms was confirmed in South America to General Thomas Charles Wright in the service of Columbia. Thomas Charles Wright was born in 1799. He was an Irish naval admiral that was a founding father of the Ecuadorian Navy and a general in Simon Bolivar's army. He is noted as a leading militarist in the struggle for independence of Ecuador and other South American countries. He entered the Royal Navy College at the age of 11. <clears throat> Next is Ermine and Anchor Erect Azure between three Escalops Gules on a chief wavy of the second, a naval crown or sterns and sails argent crest. On a naval crown azure, the sterns and sails proper, a heart at gaze argent in front of a slip of oak, erect and issuant vert. This coat of arms belonged to the Parkers of Harburn and the Parker Baronets. The Parker Baronetcy of Harburn was awarded in the year 1797 to Admiral Sir William Parker for his service at the Battle of Cape St. Vincent. Next is Argent, a chevron, wavy gules in base, a seahorse in the sea proper, supporting a flag azure, on a chief of the last, a thunderbolt between two mullets, or on a canton of the last, a satire and grailed sable between four crosses, Pate of the second, Crest on a naval crown azure charged on the rim with three crosses, pate argent, a unicorn passant of the last gorge with the wreath of laurel proper. This coat of arms belonged to the Thompson Baronets of Verkees in the county of Sussex. And the baronetcy was created in the baronetage of Great Britain on June 23rd, 1797 for Charles Thompson who represented Monmouth in the House of Commons. Charles was a British naval officer who served in the Seven Years' War and the American War of Independence. Gules, a tower surmounted, surmounting two swords and satire prop, satire points downward, argent, pommels, and hilts, or between two horses' heads erased in fest of the second on a chief of the last upon a mural crown azure, a bizant, therefore perched, a vulture rising proper between two elephants statant proper. This coat of arms was granted to Richard Knowles Barn Esquire, a captain in the Royal Navy. Sable, a lion rampant ermine between three crosses, pate fitchy or crest, a lion's gam erased and erect, Sable grasping a cross pate as in the arms. This belonged to the King Baronets of Bellevue in the County of Kent, a title that was created in 1792 for the naval officer Richard King. And lastly, Azure, a lion rampant or crest a lion couchant or. This coat of arms belonged to that of the Hughes Baronets of East Bergholt, a title created in 1773 for Richard Hughes, a captain in the Royal Navy and commissioner of the Portsmouth Dockyard. If you enjoyed this video, please visit our website. The link is in the description and click the Discover Your History button 
to get started, where we offer ancestral, genealogy, and heraldic research services packages. We can trace your ancestry back several hundred years and assess whether or not your ancestors owned a coat of arms. Thank you very much. Please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description.